What's going on, everybody? Let's take a look at a couple of YouTube shorts. So we're starting out with one here about some sort of fancy, futuristic Russian combat suit. How good are Russian combat suits? Expectations. This is what was promised by the Kremlin. Apparently, Russian combat cool. suits can survive 50 caliber bullets. Have Whoa. Built in 50 cal? It can stop a 50 cal? Could you imagine what that would feel like? Night vision, water filters, and communication equipment. That's Honestly, crazy. that does look pretty scary. But in actual reality, this is what the Russian soldiers were using. Just in case you were confused by what you're looking at, what you're seeing is a captured Russian soldier's body armor made from hardened cardboard, which oh. is not bulletproof. Thank God for Putin's generals being so corrupt. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, uh, I know corruption's played a big part in a lot of what we've seen of the Russian military, but this is not something that I don't think any country's close to, to figure it out at this point. Full body body armor that can stop 50 cal? I don't know that it's just corruption that got in the way of that one. I don't know if this is a good Kia commercial or not, but uh, <laughs> it works. I just wanted to show a clip from Ryan Hendrickson. That guy is awesome, and he's doing such important work in Ukraine, digging up mines like this out of farmer's fields all across the country. He's U.S. Army Special Forces veteran. He's back here in the United States right now taking donations and kind of getting ready for his next trip, which is, I think, in a couple weeks here to Ukraine. So if you want to support him, head over and check out his channel. Link is in the description below. Kamikaze drone is small and low tech, but it's wrecking havoc on Ukrainian armed forces. I don't know that I would say this is wrecking havoc on Ukraine's armed forces. It's definitely a new kind of unique threat they have to deal with, but I probably leave it at that for now. Unveiled in 2021 by the Iranian IRGC, Shahed-136 is a unique delta-shaped drone that is capable of striking ground targets with extreme accuracy. With an 8-foot wingspan, it can fly at a speed of 115 miles per hour, exploding its 60-pound warhead on final impact. It can precision strike by hooking up to civilian GPS systems for guidance. I haven't heard a lot about how these have been jammed or what the jamming looks like, but this is supposedly one of the benefits of this drone is that it hooks up to a civilian version of GPS, which makes me think that it'd be relatively easy to jam, but haven't seen a lot of that in the news. It can avoid radars thanks to its small size. The engine has a distinct, intimidating sound, but that does not seem like an intentional design feature. I didn't know how they were going to play that. Yet yeah, the sound of these things, I guess you can hear them from quite a ways off. So uh, there's no magic, perfect weapon, right? These things are cheaper to employ. Uh, they can fire a lot of them at once, but one of the downsides is that you can hear it from quite a ways away. It is launched in pairs of two or more from a launcher that is identical to a commercial truck, which enables rapid hit and run operations. But how could Iranians produce this sophisticated drone in the face of severe US and international sanctions? Well, most of the components, including control units and processors, are made from inexpensive civilian grade parts that anyone can buy online. It's not something we should write off. Uh, it sounds like Ukraine's had quite a bit of success shooting these things down, but the fact that Iran has been able to mass produce these relatively inexpensive drones, it's something that we all have to pay attention to. It's a significant threat. I didn't, I don't, I feel like you wouldn't want to put a drone right over a missile launch, but I don't know, North Korea, they kind of just always up there propaganda game, right? So this is the Hwasong-17, uh, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, intercontinental ballistic missile. If you remember a couple of years ago, there was the Hwasong-15. That was the one that could potentially reach the United States. This one is the next generation, bigger, faster, potentially has things like multiple reentry vehicles, meaning that one missile could have multiple warheads to strike multiple targets. Uh, there's been some debate especially coming from South Korea. North Korea says that it was a successful launch. They're ready to roll. South Korea was a little more skeptical and said some of the footage was doctored. But either way, North Korea keeps going with these missile tests. It's one after the other after the other. 